I haven't done a video for a while. The last thing I was trying to do was um, for a rotating tip jet turbine. Um, my lathe isn't suitable for cutting, doing steel, so brother in was making that up. So I've gone on and made another type of jet. I'm thinking there's not enough power coming from the detonations themselves to, as thrust. So um, there's no reason why I can't build a hybrid engine, which is one of my ideas from the start. And a hybrid engine would, would basically be running into a ramjet. So this is your inlet tube of the ramjet. Um, this is only a small, this is the first attempt at making one. This is the ramjet tube that's going inside. That's the um, diffuser, etc. This is my attempt at a diffuser. This is just roughly just thrown together because I haven't really tried to make one yet. And this is my converging, diverging nozzle on the end. So this all bolts together. It's held together with three screws on one side. And the fourth screw actually goes in and that has the fuel coming into there and that goes into the side and then that causes the, the, the fuel is ejected and comes out the back here so that's that goes from there to there out the back and this is just a jig for setting it up inside there so that this, it's central and just going to try it with some uh, butane gas pure butane has made this cap for the top so um, I'm going to give it a go. So I'll put it back together. I'm just going to run it without the converging, diverging nozzle on it and see what sort of things I get from it. I've got to work out a way to hold it yet, so I'm going to just chuck it together. Okay, so the ramjet is set up there. I found a bracket to stick it onto. I'm just going to use just the ramjet, fuel injection, and the, the flame, attempted flame holder. The biggest thing is going to be getting a flame holder to hold the flame. But this sort of, sort of works a bit, so I'll give it a try. We'll see how it goes. Flame holder is going to be a problem, as we knew all along. It's like trying to strike a candle in a cyclone. Now, on reviewing the footage, I realised that the flame was at the back here. It wasn't in the combustion chamber. And this was going to be the problem all along, is to getting it to come in behind the flame holder, which is back in here, and then coming out from there. So, um, because I've lightened the back, that's probably one of the reasons. But now I'm basically running an ignition system inside here, and I'm going to adjust it out until I can sort of get it so the best, see if I can get it to start internally with a, a, spark, a sparking system here. Nope. Basically just trying to work out where, if, if I can get this fire and where it was going to fire. So far, no luck. Oh, fuck ya. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ow! Don't touch the spark when the spark's still turned on. Fuck me dead. Find a 50 mil. new flame holder diffuser and you can see the spark inside there as well. Fitted the new diffuser and the spark injection there so that's just in behind the diffuser. The gas will come in here as it was. This is a, an adjustable nozzle so I don't have to hold the torch uh, blow gun on there and that will be adjustable in, in, to give it more flow or whatever into the um, ramjet. And uh, we'll just set it up now and give it a try. Just turned on, and you'll hear, hear a lot of spark. And then I'll turn the gas on, and then the air on, and see if we can get what sort of um, output we can sort of get.
just going to let it cool down and I'll put the converging diverging knot on and try that. Okay, so we fitted the converging diverging nozzle. Yes. That's probably as far as we can go with this um, setup. Um, I'm just going to have to, to delve any further. I have to try and get some sort of a hypersonic speed coming into it to test it anymore, which I can do with my pulse detonation engine and get hypersonic pulses, but that might not work because that's pulses rather than. Um, a jet as this, this thing seems to use.